The NPN Advances Day is a, an event that's held every two years in the UK. It's organised by a committee of clinicians and also um, nurses who have an interest in this area. And we try to bring a, a varied programme with lots of different aspects and a variety of speakers. And we were super pleased that um, we uh, managed to attract such fantastic speakers and we had such a breadth of presentations. Just thinking from the beginning to the end about um, our speakers from Italy, Professor Barbui talking about, for example, cerebral vein thrombosis, topical area in the field, and um, th making us think about how we use anticoagulant drugs. Tony Green talking about uh, the latest data with regard to molecular modelling and predicting um, fate of disease and, and having um, the ability to bring to us top-notch data that's not yet published and really cause a lot of excitement in the audience. Um, but then following on with Angela Hamlin from Oxford, who I thought did a really fantastic lecture, really talking about practicalities of new genetic tests, because we all know about ordering them, that's fine, we just fill in a form or press a button or whatever, but really understanding what goes on behind that, what the limitations are, the work that goes into that, and then beautifully illustrated with clinical cases regarding how this might be useful. I thought that was really good. I also very much in, enjoyed the section we put together concerning thrombosis. I thought and Martin Ellis from Tel Aviv in Israel really gave a fantastic segue into our quite detailed discussion about specific thrombotic issues. He put together the interplay between the endothelium, the environment and the abnormal stem cell in a really very beautiful and clever way. And then I really enjoyed learning from David Patch about splanchnic vein thrombosis, what I should do with my acutely unwell patients as well as my chronically unwell patients. But it made me also think about the way that I manage those patients. Should I manage them side by side with a hepatologist, for example, not being afraid of using anticoagulation? That was a very strong message from, for me that patient, these patients, even if they have varices, if we anticoagulate them with warfarin, generally they do not bleed. So that was a really strong message and I, I hope that others in the audience also heard that message. And then the discussion about the newer oral anticoagulants with which you know many of us are less familiar from Hannah Cohen I thought was interesting. And then we had a variety of different presentations which were also excellent, I thought, MPN and pregnancy, difficult problem, uncommon, many people don't manage more than one or two of them, so it was a great update, beautifully illustrated again with clinical cases. And then we diverged a bit outside of the field of MPN and had some discussion about treatment-free remission in CML, so for me that was a really useful update from Richard Clark. And then Eric Solari, as always, gave a fabulous presentation about across the breadth of science and therapy in CMML. And I think it's really important for all of us that we don't just practice in a silo, that we think and take lessons from other diseases. So for me, that was super important. Um, and then, uh, of course, Ruben Messer gave a wonderful presentation about what's new in the field. And Adam, or important for us in the UK to be rounding up, what are we doing? Where are we going? How can we work together? What clinical trials are we doing? And we have a strong portfolio of trials in the UK that actually are built on science from the UK. So for example, the Tamarin study built on the work of Simone menadez Ferrer about uh, the role of estrogen. Then also Mombat, which is about methotrexate, done from the work of the group in Sheffield. So I think I've probably summarised the whole day for you, but for me, I really enjoyed all of it. And I found it really very interesting and um, very um, uh, kind of global in its reach and um, smack up to date. So I was really pleased.